Several epic battles took place during the Second World War, such as Normandy Battle, and the Battle of the Bulge, and these are well known simply by the names. War, on the other hand, entails more skirmishes than historic conflicts, and is won in small increments, and these were not so well known, for one reason or the other. The Battle of Chuiji Pass in Tunisia, between the Germans and the Allies, is an instance of this. It was their first conflict, and it had occurred in a remote corner of Tunisia's countryside, in the Mediterranean theater of the war, and took place in November of 1942. The United States troops had just arrived in North Africa, to take part in the Mediterranean battlefield, while the Germans were preparing a counter-offensive. Fast-moving, hard-hitting tank formations, had been a big part of German tactics across Europe. Tanks were particularly prominent in North Africa's open desert terrain, but the Americans had not yet encountered tank combat against the German forces, and that was about to change, at Chuiji Pass. Lieutenant Colonel John Waters, then commanded a battalion of the US 1st Armored Division, but was assigned to the Blade Force, which was mainly British group with British commanders. Waters was in charge of three tank companies with a total of 60 M3 light tanks, as well as his headquarters company. They were backed up by an assault gun platoon, with three 75mm howitzers and an 81mm mortar unit. They didn't have any infantry, artillery, engineers, or anti-tank weaponry. The Americans, as it turned out, had an insufficient force. Tanks were strong weapons, but they were vulnerable without troops to protect them. Waters and his men quickly realized that they were woefully unprepared to face German tank divisions. Opposing Waters was a mixed force of German and Italian reconnaissance units arranged along the route to the Chuiji Pass to locate the Allies. An Italian anti-tank battalion and German paratroopers dug in together in a farmhouse along the route. The German tank formations were formidable, with Panzer III and Panzer IV tanks, piloted by a mix of German and Italian soldiers. The Panzer III was equipped with a 50mm cannon, whereas the Panzer IV had a more powerful, 75mm anti-tank gun. The Axis powers organized two close defense positions on the Tunisian coast, around the ports of Bizet and Tunis. Control of the hills along the route to these cities, gave them full control of the area. The Allies needed to conquer the hills and the passages between them, if they wished to push the Axis out of the area. Blade Force was tasked with battling Axis forces, near the center of the battle lines. It was planned to launch a southerly attack on Medjez El Bab, with two spearheads. Meanwhile, a third force was supposed to gain possession of one of the roads between Tunis and Bizet. This is the path that goes through the Chuiji Pass. The US battalion led by Waters, was in the third arch. His mission was to rush through the pass, and spying on the front area including the bridges over the Medjerda River. The initial push across the Chuiji Pass, went well for Waters. They easily defeated the weaker German troops they faced, circled the heavily defended farm, before taking over the hills. After reaching the top of a hill, much to their delight, they discovered an unprotected German airfield, just ready to be stormed. American tanks pushed forward, shooting down defenders, and demolishing planes and buildings. A total of 20 BF-109s, which had tormented Allied forces from the air, were burned on the ground. Both the Allies and the Germans, momentarily retreated after that. The Germans were terrified because they believed bogus rumors, that Allied tanks were approaching Tunis, while Waters was concerned about the safety of his troops. The German commander, General Nering, was heavily criticized by his superiors. Field Marshal Kesselring, assumed that the Allies would advance cautiously, and that Nering should not have withdrawn. On November 26, 1942, the next morning, 
the Americans returned to Chuiji Pass at the same time, under Water's command. General Nering deployed a probing tank force to investigate, as Waters returned to the pass. They included three Panzer III's and six Panzer IV's, from the 190th Panzer Battalion. Major Karl Siglund's Company A was the first American unit the Germans observed. German tanks attacked immediately, not knowing that Company B under Colonel Bill Tuck was hiding behind a high hill. Tuck and his tanks moved up the hillside, trying not to draw attention to themselves as the Germans advanced. They held their fire until additional German tanks appeared in the distance. Company B finally opened fire. Their M3s had 37mm cannons, therefore didn't have the same punch as the German tanks. But they were in an excellent position, and were about to be somewhat lucky. One of the first shots hit a German tank, just behind the sprocket that drove the track. This was a thin spot in the armor, so the bullet had penetrated the German tank and started a fire. The shot helped the Americans understand that the guns were not particularly powerful, but they were extremely accurate up to a mile and a half away. As it turned out, the American tankers hit that weak spot by concentrating fire near the front of the German tanks. More German tanks were quickly bursting into flames along the lines. The Germans had no choice but to retreat when the defenses were destroyed. The US did not have a resounding win, since they also suffered substantial casualties. The losses of the two sides were close. Six light tanks had been destroyed, while seven of the German tanks had been lost. Major Siglin was unfortunately killed in the battle, but they had survived their first tank battle, maintained the ground, and defeated the formidable enemy. Most crucially, for the first time in history, the Americans successfully fought German tanks in desert terrain, and forced them to withdraw. It was another victory in what would turn out to be a long and bloody war. The combat at Chuiji Pass exemplifies how the Allies eventually won the war, one small but significant victory at a time. If you have enjoyed the story of this tank battle, please subscribe and support the channel for more. Many thanks for watching.